So you, the person can say, um, Hen Gao Shen, Wai Hen Gao Shen, Tian Dao Ni. Nice meeting you, Wai Hen Gao Shen, Tian Dao Ni. Wai Hen Gao Shen, Tian Dao Ni. Wai Hen Gao Shen, Tian Dao Ni. How? Ah, so we we'll meet again, or oh, bye, bye. You can say bye in Chinese, or bye bye in Chinese, but the right way is Sai Tian. This is a live show. It's back in your other yeah? Okay, see, I have my stuff here. Stuff here. Can you see them? All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Village Boy, the boy from the cottage, and of course, I'll be traveling to China. This happens to be my very first international flight. You know, I'm actually in Ghana here, West Africa, and Africa is not a country; it's a continent. We have different, different countries in Africa. 54 countries. I've never traveled to any of them, any of the African countries. Ah, it's so sad, but this is going to be my very first time experience in China and of course I just want to pack with you, alright? Pack my stuff that I'll be taking along to China. I'm kind of like, what could that be? I mean the, the culture, I mean the food, how the people live, how they do their stuff, the development technology wise, I mean everything that you can think about, I mean as a first time timer who is traveling to that country, China, you know they speak Chinese and um, how to even communicate with them back and forth Charlie is a whole lot of uh, you know of thinking for me I've been thinking all this while too well I just don't know but mixed feeling right here because I'm super excited at the same time because um, I've um, I've been dreaming about this country China to visit China or something and so I have my stuff here that I'll be packing them to China so it will be my very first time to Actually, I've been to the Kotoka, Kotoka International Airport, but I've never, it's just an escort. But this one, I'm going there myself and be, I will jump on a on, on flight or on the plane, man. <laughs> Back with me as we go. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because there are going to be more series of China videos here on this platform. Whatever you want to know, I got you covered. Village boy, let's go. What's up, village boy here. As you can see me, in the barbering shop to give myself that demure treatment you got me my hair is bushy so i decided to give myself beautiful demure fantastic gorgeous treatment as you can see me yeah media media the transformation was smart this one is great bro this is also part of the packing all right because i need to pack myself well as well as the stuff that i'm going to be taking along to china and of course there's going to be back and back and back and back back to back series of china videos that you yourself you'll be overwhelmed let's enjoy and continue watching back in time Ooh, back. actually i'm going to be taking um two bags that is the main bag and my backpack all right so let me show you my backpack will be my this bag that i have here right to be this one uh, first of all let's open this one and see this is a large uh, Okay, let's open it real quick because we'll be packing very sure. Yeah, packing and all that, yeah? Okay, can you see it? I'm packing my stuff inside. And uh, my things are here. My things, as you can see, I have my stuff here. Oh, we are packing, we are packing, bro. I have my stuff here. I have my stuff here. Can you see them? I have my stuff here. And other things. So let's let's pack. I'm kind of like I just don't know the kind of stuff to to take them to China because I don't know that the weather over there it might be different from Ghana, it might be so different. I think uh, I might. Okay, so let's pack. I don't know. I'm a guy, so anyhow I put my stuff in my bag. It's none of. I'm, uh, actually this trip is two weeks trip a summer camp and you know what um, I'm not the only person going we are going with a China director for Confucius Institute at the University of Cape Coast. so this is going to be overwhelming though but then it's going to be interesting because as a first timer that you are going with someone who is already a native of China you would have easy navigation in the country but if it happens to be your first time that you have nobody to host you it's going to be i mean difficult for you i mean 
the language barrier itself will, will make you hot. You will not be able to communicate. So I will, I will try my possible best to introduce some of the Chinese terms uh, like easy uh, greetings in Chinese and how to say hello, how to say how are you, how to say good morning and this and that. I'll be talking about it in this video, so stick and stay. And actually, it's like I said, it's, this is my very first international flight that I'm, uh, it's, it's happening in my life. You know, rising from the cottage to the, to the university and even, <laughs> it's, it's uh, I'm a mixed feeling right here. I'm, I'm like, I just don't know what to say. I'm already done packing my stuff up because this is two weeks trip, so yeah. And actually, actually, where we are going, when we take the flight, I mean the flight from Kotoka International Airport to land in Guangzhou. So if this is going to be a transit. Either we take Ethiopia Airlines and we land in Ethiopia, then take from Ethiopia to China, Guangzhou, and the host um, institution that is hosting this summer camp is Hunan City University so we are going to Hunan province actually China, in China they have different provinces a lot of provinces in China I think right now the population I'm almost done with this my stuff but there are other things to add but I don't think I'll put them on camera here for you to see and of course let me show you this I'm going with my laptop right can you see my laptop I'm going with it and um, I've prepared enough, that's why I told you that don't leave this channel without subscribing to it because look at it, I have backups. I mean, these are drives that to, I'll use it to store my footages, okay? I have a lot. So there's going to be series of videos on this platform concerning the trip to China, right? From my home to Kotoka International Airport. And right now, I have all my documents ready, right? I have my yellow. When you are to travel, you need to have your yellow card, your yellow card, FIFA, FIFA card. If you don't have it, you'll be denied entry. I have my police report. My visa is almost done. And Charlie, we are ready to go to China for the first time. I could just son, Mata Nante, son is traveling for the first time. I mean, happens to be the very first person in my family. And I come to Sweetie to travel to China. And uh, well, I don't have any idea whether someone has been to China before, but I would, you know, uh, to my knowledge or to my understanding, I'm the, I'm the person that is traveling there for the first time that I know, yes. But then I think we have more people that um, are on the line that will be traveling abroad. Let me talk about something. I told you earlier that I'm going to be introducing some Chinese. So my laptop is going straight up. Yeah. So let's, let's try. Uh -huh. And then I have, uh, let me show you this. I have my, you see, it? I have my cakes. <laughs> it's not only this one. I have other one, but some of the this, some of the items might not be um, be on the screen on the camera. Yes, let me sit here and talk about some certain things, um, some greetings in Chinese, so that when you go to China, if you have to go to China, you don't fumble. You get me? Mm -hmm. If you have to go to China, you don't fumble. <sighs> where is, where is my, is okay, so with my backpack, let me show you. This is going to be my backpack. So actually, as I'm going to China, we are required to have two bags, or you can have two bags. And you are required to have a, a weight of the weight of the bag should be, I think, 23 kg with your backpack. So I can be having two of these depending on the, the weight and then my backpack. But there are some certain things that I am sure that they are not allowed uh, allowed on a plane. I like weapons. I don't am not sure you can carry weapons on a plane. Yes. So there's going to be security check before you are allowed to enter the boarding um to board a plane yes i you know i'm saying all this thing because i've seen it in um in videos but i'm going to experience it in real time to get to know if what they are this i was told or what i've seen so far is the truth yes okay so as a first time if you are traveling to china if you are traveling to china for the first time 
one of the easy phrase to use is hello in ghana here we say hello 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 in china or in chinese language we say ning hao so ning hao so if you see a chinese native you say ning hao you say ning hao the person also respond ning hao mm. so in our setting here when you meet a, when you meet any person for the first time you say ning hao then you can greet the person it follows by greeting so ning hao if it is early in the morning we say zao shang hao zao shang hao so if you see someone for the first time you say ni hao then you follow by greetings zao shang hao you say zao shang hao then in the afternoon we say shang wu hao shang wu hao in the evening we say wang shang hao wang shang hao the person will say say like good morning good morning you see the response or the reply will be good morning right the same thing in chinese and uh, you can continue further if you want to continue with the conversation you can ask the person how are you how do you say how are you in Chinese? Ni hao ma? Ni hao ma? Ni hao ma? Wa hen hao. So, wa hen hao. I am fine. Then the person can reply, wa yen hen hao. Ni na? Ni na? Wa yen hen hao. Xie xie. So, you, the person can say, um, hen gao xin. Wa hen gao xin. Jian dao ni. Nice meeting you. Wa hen gao xin. Jian dao ni. Wa hen gao xin. Jian dao ni. Wa hen gao xin. Jian dao ni. Hao. Ah, uh, so we'll meet again or bye bye you can say bye in Chinese or bye bye in Chinese but the right way is sai jian sai jian sai jian sai jian sai jian sai jian lo sai jian lo hen gao xin tian dao ni i believe you learned one or two things we've packed already i'm done packing Charlie. i'm ready for the trip as you can see village boy is going to be live in china and i told you where we will we, we are going to be hosted in Hunan province, Hunan City University. And we are going to be touring, learning at the Chinese as well and eating their food. I mean, <laughs> we are going to be trying different food in China, different dishes, cuisines. So we are going to try them, give our best shot and see how it's going to feel like. You know, I guess you are having that much, uh, you know, uh, great time here on this platform because Charlie, you are seeing Village Boy uh, the village boy is traveling for the first time. It's going to be experiencing different culture, cultures, and the back and forth. I mean, so chale, 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 chale. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. Cultural shocks, the weather. I mean, they said we have something snow. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> I just don't know. So my documents, everything is set. My backpack, this is my luggage, and this is my laptop is going with me. I have my story devices that I'm going to be backing up my footages to ensure that all the experiences, the things that I see, I capture them, store them, and post it on my YouTube channel, Village Boy. It's no other place than Village Boy channel. Make sure you stay, you stay glued to this platform because the boy from the cottage, Akome Nzuiti, is traveling for the first time. You know how we do it. Alright. So thank you so much for making time by watching this video. I'll try for a let me let me show them one time, one time, one time. <laughs> Ooh, see oh. You see it? Yeah, let me know they slap. Oh. Calm down, village boy, calm down. I know, I understand. But then I'm super excited. If you're happy for me, uh for traveling for the first time, I mean international flight to China, then see hello thank you god or you can say wow i'm happy for you then another thing that you can do for me is that make sure you share the channel to your friends your family to also subscribe you know the agenda of this platform village boy youtube channel the agenda has not changed we have not veered or switched from what we want to do for our villages we we'll still keep up with the impact and so i think this is going to give more um more encouragement to the younger ones from our villages who are not having exposure to get to know that indeed if one person from our midst if one person from the cottage is able to rise to this place and he's at this place is traveling to this place doing stuff like this that means that we are all capable of doing it so thank you so much for always supporting this initiative i believe we are going to make it happen big and large and um, together we save lives my name is always the village boy. So cool and chafa. Get it back another time. What's up? Let's go.
actually recorded a video about how I got my documents. I mean, from the uh, passport, Ghanaian passport, the visa, and my police report, and the yellow fever card. All these four documents, how I got them, I recorded a video, and it will be at the very top here. So cross check and watch that video too, so that you get to know how to get all these documents before you can travel to China. I hope it helps. My name is always the big boy. I salute you. I'm happy. I just want to be happy. Super excited. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We'll meet another time.